The 2022 Nissan Frontier is an all-new Frontier, which was first introduced in February of 2021 and is based on the Nissan F-Alpha platform with a revised and strengthened ladder frame and all-new dimensions. Proudly manufactured in the United States at the Canton, Mississippi Manufacturing Plant. The new Frontier is available in extended King Cab and full four-door crew cab variations, with two or four-wheel drive and various trim level availabilities. This marks the first time the North American market gets their own dedicated Frontier model completely unrelated to the global Nissan Navara variant of the truck. The new Frontier marks the first new design in almost two decades, and as Motor Trend magazine says, if you've driven the same car for the better part of two decades, any new vehicle, good or bad, feels like a revelation. What we see is the current Frontier before the 2022 model was first introduced in 2004, three years before the first iPhone, and while considered a really great mid-size truck bargain, it received few updates during its 18-year run and was desperately due for either a facelift or complete redesign. Finally, we see that effort takes shape in the all-new Frontier, and today, we will take a detailed look at this very nice new truck offering from Nissan. Going head-to-head -head with the likes of the Toyota Tacoma and the Ford Ranger, Chevrolet Colorado or GMC Canyon, the Frontier could be a true competitor in this segment. Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at the all new 2022 Nissan Frontier. In today's video we will be featuring the Pro X 4x2 trim level. This model is painted in super black and features the charcoal cloth interior. Its full pricing is shown on screen with a full options list breakdown in the description box below so make sure you go head over there and check it out. As you can see, this is a crew cab model. It does have the short bed. One really nice feature already are these rock rails with the step bar attachments that actually say Frontier. It's all metal. It even has the grips on it. Our Frontier is the Pro X trim, which features SV trim equipment plus extra upgrades in styling and equipment. The Pro X is basically the rear wheel drive variant of the four wheel drive Pro 4X truck. That being said, it is still a capable truck on and off the beaten path with beefy wheels and tires, Bilstein off road performance shocks, a 9.8 inch ground clearance, and tow recovery hooks painted lava red. The Pro X features an approach angle of 31.8 degrees, a departure angle of 22.6 degrees, and a ramp breakover angle of 20.9 degrees. Power comes from the tried-and-true 3.8-liter VQ38 series dual overhead cam 24-valve V6 engine. This engine is of aluminum block and head construction with continuously variable valve timing and variable valve event and lift programming. It features direct gasoline injection with an 11.0 to 1 compression ratio. The engine creates 310 horsepower at 6,400 rpm and 281 pound-feet of torque at 4,400 rpm. 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration comes in at a relatively quick 7.4 seconds, but straight-line performance is not what this truck is about. For a mid-size pickup, it is extremely capable with a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,012 pounds and a curb weight of 4,508 pounds. For our truck, Total payload capacity is 1,430 pounds with a maximum towing capacity of 6,470 pounds. All Frontiers are equipped with a 21 US gallon fuel capacity and consumes 5 gallons per 100 miles driven with an estimated total driving range of around 420 miles. EPA fuel economy figures are 18 miles per gallon in the city, 24 miles per gallon on the highway, and a combined rating of 20 miles per gallon. Sadly, no manual transmission is offered, with the sole available unit being an all-new electronically controlled 9-speed automatic with manual shift capability via the shift lever. There are no shift paddles on this truck.
Rear suspension consists of overslung multi-leaf springs with Dana axle, Bilstein off-road performance shocks and 25.4mm stabilizer bar. Round of the rear of the new Frontier, all new styling. Still get the heritage of the Frontier pickup truck, especially with this being a four-door with the short box. And you do have these molded plastic wheel covers, the Pro X decal, not 4X, just the X. LED tail lamps with LED turn repeater or turn indicators. One nice little feature here is this little bumper step here. Body color rear bumper, orange Nissan logo in the tailgate, and once again, Frontier emblazoned in the tailgate itself. Four and seven pin wiring, trailer tow group, and of course you have the Pro X gunmetal finish badge. Along the profile of the new Frontier, the design is attractive, understated and somewhat aggressive, especially in crew cab configuration. The truck sits on a 126-inch wheelbase with an overall length of 210.2 inches. Steering is engine speed-sensitive hydraulically assisted rack and pinion with three turns lock-to-lock -lock and a 42.7-foot turning radius. Wheels are 17 by 7.5-inch dark finish aluminum alloys, which look like beadlocks, but are not. They are shot in P26570 R17 Hankook Dynapro at two tires front and rear. Brakes are four-wheel power-assisted disc brakes and are assisted by electronic brake force distribution, ABS, rear automatic braking and stability control. Brakes consist of 11.7-inch ventilated front rotors with two piston calipers and 11.3-inch ventilated rear rotors with single piston calipers. Front suspension is independent double wishbone with Bilstein off-road performance shock absorbers and 36mm stabilizer bar. Taking a look at the front of the new Frontier, as you can see it's a lot more aggressively styled than the previous generation. Looks completely different and that's good because it's been almost 10 years since the new Frontier has been around. The Pro-X trim is really, really sharp. All trucks have these nice widened fender flares. You've also got these faux vents here. Taking a quick look at the headlamps, nicely sculpted, low profile LED headlamps. You've also got these LED daytime running lights on the top and bottom. LED light pipe there for the turn indicators and your parking lights. Of course, down below you have LED fog lamps. Taking a look at the grill, the grill is a powder coated look material. Has the Frontier logo emblazoned in the top. And you've got the orange Nissan logo there. And here is your front facing camera. Down below, satin silver frame for the lower portion. And you've got two orange tow recovery hooks. Alrighty, and remote start is standard equipment on this vehicle. To operate is simple. First you need to lock the vehicle and then press and hold the remote start button on the key fob. And this vehicle is equipped with Nissan's Intelligent Key Smart Key Access System. We'll take a quick look at the key fob. Pretty standard Nissan key. It does have the new Nissan logo however. You got your remote start button here. Lock, unlock, and panic. To operate the intelligent access is very simple. By keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, you can lock and unlock the doors. To do so is simple just by pressing this button. Two beeps indicate locking. And to unlock, simply press the button again and you'll hear one beep. And taking a look inside the new Frontier, it's all new for 2022. All new materials, all new design, all new seats.
quick look at the door trim here. Still has that cut down on the driver's side door to aid in visibility. You have this really nice soft padded vinyl texture trim here on this elbow rest and the armrest here. Chrome plated door poles. Of course you have power heated mirror controls here. Power locks, window lockout, and power window controls. Got this lava red accent here with this padded faux carbon fiber. Molded bottle holders and mat pockets and more of that faux carbon fiber trim below, as well as your stereo speakers. You've also got illuminated front to your kick plates. And on the driver's side dashboard, we have our tow haul mode, instrument panel brightness and dim, and your trip reset. You've also got your power plug actuation. You've also got the intelligent vehicle intelligence here, cargo lamp and stability control, hood releases right here, parking brake, no manual transmission in this vehicle. And down here, you have more lava red accents with lava red accent stitching. We've also got eight way power driver seat. And taking a look at the seats in the Pro X model, there are this textured charcoal black cloth with lava red accent stitching. You've also got this really neat pattern here, Pro X stitching overall the seats are very nice they're very comfortable very supportive all right we're inside we're going to pan through the interior we're going to show a lot more details here because there's plenty to show it's a brand new truck nice leather wrap four spoke steering wheel with lava red accent stitching inside the leather wrap and you of course your nissan logo has the same color you've also got this gloss piano black trim on the spokes Multifunction controls over here for your audio controls, trip computer controls, and Bluetooth and voice controls. And over on the right hand side, you do have your cruise controls as well as your distance selector for your radar cruise control. Multifunction controls are very simple. Over on the left hand side is your flash pass and high beams, turn indicators, and headlamp controls. And on the right hand side is your wiper washer controls. This steering wheel is a tilt steering wheel, but it does not telescope. And taking a look at the instrument cluster, it looks very similar to like the Nissan Sentra SERs of a couple years ago where it had the red accents. 8,000 RPM TAC with coolant temperature. And over on the right is 120 mile per hour speedometer with your fuel gauge. In the center is your driver information uh, display. Right now it's in speed, uh, basically just your home. And then you can cycle through using the button on the, inst or the dri or steering wheel here, left and right. And then you can use this to go through sub menus. As you can see, we do have off-road details with your inclinometer. You've also got your power distribution and your steering angle. Auxiliary gauges for transmission temperature, battery voltage, cool uh, oil pressure and oil temperature. You've also got your driving aids like your trip, ball, trip meter, fuel economy, audio, compass, traffic sign recognition, driving aids, tire pressures, and your menu settings. All right, let's move over to the top of the dash, show more details. You do have your speakers in the corners. In the center, you do have this little storage tray with a removable and cleanable liner. All of that comes to a point to the center of the dash, framed in this gloss black bezel, this really nice touchscreen interface. Right now it's in navigation, and as you can see, your touch response is very, very good. The graphics are crisp and clear. To have a new We've also got audio controls, Sirius XM satellite radio, home controls here. It's also equipped with Apple CarPlay and Google Android Auto. You do have Sirius XM traffic and sports and fuel. Then you can go to your map, settings, all that kind of stuff. And another nice feature is by placing the vehicle in reverse. Of course, you have a rear view camera, which is mandated by the federal government. It does have active guidance lines. You've also got a 360 degree top-down view with moving object detection. All right, move it down. Four-way flashers, passenger airbag indicator, climate controls, it's a dual, dual zone temperature control, single zone fan speed, and panel distribution. Down here, you do have your heated seat controls, heated steering wheel controls, parking sensor power switch, a USB type C and a USB type A control, and your passenger heated seat control. 12 volt power point here. 
Moving down the center console, these little grip assist handles I've shown previously. It has the orange accents, the lava orange accents. You do have a nice large storage tray here. Cup holders. And your Qi wireless charging mat. Moving on the center console, on the armrest, you do have this really nice textured pattern, uh, vinyl pattern here. Lava orange accents. Opens up to reveal storage and a pen holder and a 12 volt power point inside. Overall, I feel like Nissan did a very good job on the interior of the new Frontier. It's a very quiet, very comfortable place to be. Fit and finish seems really good. Overhead, we do have a manually dimming rear view mirror. We've also got sunglasses holder. Overhead LED map lights. This is your light override, your dome override here. And your SOS control here. Large padded sun visors feature illuminated vanity mirrors. Sun visors do swing out and slide out on extension rails. And of course you have dampened overhead assist handles and high adjustable seat belts. All right, now let's take a look at the rear seat. Nice wide opening doors for starters. Here is our rear seat. Let's take a quick look at the door panel. Somewhat similar to the front doors in styling. You still have that uh, textured vinyl padded trim here. Same armrest with the same stitching. Window switch controls here. No lava orange accents on that, on this part here, but it would be nice to see that. Some of that faux carbon fiber trim, molded bottle holder and storage pocket, and more of that trim down here, and a stereo speaker, and chrome door poles. All right, you're taking a look at the seats. The seats do seat three across. It is a 60-40 split folding seat with high adjustable head restraints on the outboard seats. As you can see, the seats are actually very narrow, but it does seat three across the state of before. You do have a nice fold down center armrest with integral cup holders. Rear sliding window, rear overhead map light, assist handles, even on the uh, bead pillar there. Seat bag map pockets on the backs of the driver and passenger seat. Additionally, you have a USB type A and type C or yeah, type C and type A charger and 120 volt, 400 watt AC outlet. Alrighty, the seats do fold. You have to lift up on this little lever here to unlock them. Nice little storage tray here. You also got some tie downs. Another nice little trick is that the seat back also folds. It would fold flat if you take the headrest out, but you have your top tether and anchor for a child seat. All right, some other features of the rear seat. Underneath the seat bottom cushion on the right-hand side, you do have these really cool packs by Nissan. It's a tactical digital dot matrix camo print. It's part of the Nissan tactical exterior outside adventure package. It does have like service gloves here, a microfiber towel. You got some other stuff in here, tie down hooks, um, little trail shovel, a warming blanket or tarp. You've also got some other stuff in these bottom pouches here as well. So first aid stuff, emergency rain poncho, survival wrap, hand warmers, or emergency whistle, all that kind of stuff. And it's actually in a really, really nice um, backpack. It does have Molly straps as well. And then you have your Nissan Adventure Medic Kit. It opens up just to reveal a very nicely packed medical supply kit. Put that back underneath the seat. And we're gonna fold the seat back down. And in there, you do have your jack and tools located back there.
All right, now let's take a look inside the bed. First things first is getting in. As you can see, it is a dampened, soft opening tailgate. It does have a spray in bed liner. You've also got the rails here for the locking cleats. And the tailgate has a plastic liner on it. LED bed lighting. You've also got a massive uh, port here, but it just, just it just has the household style AC outlet. It's a 400 watt outlet. Tie down hooks back here. You've also got drain plugs. And we will throw the bed dimensions up on the screen. Alrighty, and that does conclude our in-depth walk-around review of the all-new 2022 Nissan Frontier Pro X 4x2. We hope you found the review informative, and if you did like it, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews, and of course our Instagram channel at brinsoj1. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.